Hi, so I have plenty of things to tell you and just one thing to keep in mind for you is that I don't know like it's been a while since I've made videos I've made a video a few days ago but that long break of a few weeks gave me sort of a weird feeling that it's kind of hard to get back to making videos and just like sit down and talk to you and I don't know maybe have those uh, few issues where like oh I'm afraid to worry like waste people's time by taking too much talking about my stuff mumbling too much rambling and not getting to the point maybe I don't have anything specific to say and now like those little things kind of stop me and then I go through my day and like I do tons of things and for the last few weeks I was working on messing myself up on my ability to get out of body so that I could get to the point where people cannot get out of body and I'm one of them and what do I do to help myself to get back to that place where I was and that's a whole different video <laughs> or I could talk about it right now but anyway what I want to talk about today is more of a alien abduction secret space programs 20 and back and stuff like that and it's not that I know much about it but to be honest I really don't I, I barely know anything I haven't read up that much but this whole subject for me is really interesting because some people know of my ability to get out of body and they use that, like they call me and sometimes Rich and I would give dual sessions and in those sessions Rich and I we have the ability to like Rich is the one talking to people having the questions and stuff and my job is to fully focus on what you're talking about tune into the person and his case and his life and everything he experienced and with that you know they can tell me some key points of what happened, what they remember, what they want to focus on and having that in mind, I get out of body in the session, focusing on that and try to relive everything and come back with the information of what happened. So some people might be abducted in the past, some people might have had some secret space program stuff and they remember very few things like, oh, I remember sitting in front of the TV and next thing I know, like, I was there, but just one flash, just one image of a few seconds, that's all I know. Or, you know, some, some people are like, oh, well, my, I remember my, par my parents telling me that they were driving and they're dizzy, so I sort of fireball, like, fl fly through them in front of the car and I think they were abducted. Could you look into it? And, you know, you get, like, a sentence or two about what happened and then I have to tune into this whole case of them and sort of, you know, go through the whole process and, and like, sort of, I sit there, relax, and I get out of body and I recall the whole experience. I open my eyes and I tell them like what I saw, but I, what I, you know, everything I, I've been through the whole thing. And the most interesting part to me is that eventually their answer is like, wow, it's, it's funny because, and next thing I know is that they've been through several people like that do past life regressions and different sort of things like hypnotic therapies where a person, you know, is in sort of hypnotic state, but they're able to talk about your case without being too aware of it. And so, they give out that information and they found out through with other people and here I am, I got out of body and what I say is a confirmation because somehow I do not know anything about your case I, it's just what I saw and I, I, I report on it and next thing I know is like it fits with what other people told them and I'm like, whoa! and so I get really excited because for me, I can get out of body I had the ability and I, and I have a lot of fun but I haven't really uh, practice with helping other people in lots of ways when I get out of body. So it's, it's really fun for me when I can get information about their life, their past, their things that they've experienced. And even with that, I focus on not just like talking with them about what happened, but also clearing out their soul contracts, clearing out their entities and things that happened, like traumatic emotions. I'm able to go through the incident and sort of help them out. And at that point, everything becomes like, you know, do you believe in the work you're doing? Or is it all your imagination? And you're like, I hope it fits, I hope it fits, I hope it fits. Like, you know, it's kind of like, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm in that fight. Like, I hope that work I do is, is working. And then I report on it and I'm always like surprised and really glad. And I get like super, like, I don't know, just like, yeah, it works. So with that being said, uh, it's a, a little bit about me, but the whole subject of being abducted, you know, if you've had any experiences with it, if you've heard other people, you know, share in the comments because it is a pretty common thing. And one of the things I like thought about mentioning, like, or talking about today, it's not like I really planned out. I was just like, oh, I need to make, a, I, I want to make a video and I want to get in the mood. And here I am, I'm just like trying to do something. I'm reading through the comments and stuff. And I'm like, I'm just not feeling anything. And I thought like, well, first thing that comes, I'll talk about that. And it was like, uh, 
secret service programs, like alien abductions and stuff like that. So, um, one of the things, like, you know, one of the recent cases that I was working on with helping other people is basically I had to recall what happened to them in 20 and back. And some people, like, you know, it's basically uh, they are abducted by the secret space program military or other beings. And in that experience, they are about to live 20 or more years. And then they are returned to the body at the point when they were they abducted. So in some cases, people can be like four year old, five year old, six years old, but usually they abduct young people. Of course, you can be like 15, 20, 30, it doesn't matter, but like usually they abduct, abduct people and they spend like 20, 20 years in their program and they return in, into the body that they were. But sometimes the body can get destroyed and they have a clone of you. So they put the clone back in you and they you know mess up your memories. They like sort of okay, we just had a sort of huge experience, but let's make, make sure that they do not recall anything because it needs to stay secret. And they try to brainwash us and make sure that we, like, memory wipe us and we don't remember anything. And what happens is that people, they're living in their life, and what happens is that they have triggers and stuff, and they start recalling the experience. I was abducted. I was this. I did that. And so they recall the experience of the abduction or the 20 and back, and here it is. Some people can be in school, they're just sitting here and like, oh, okay, a normal day, and like, you know, a normal person is in school and stuff. And boom, they get abducted, and they live for 20, 30, one more years in that whole thing, in the program, and whatever they do, they can go through a lot, and I'll tell you more about, about those experiences. And the person is returned after that period of time, in the exact time when he was abducted. So a second or two passed. He, he did not disappear for like from the class and, and everyone else's like a perspective, but he himself he knows that I was abducted, I was gone, and so for the person he lived twenty years and he got back into that fifteen year old body that he was, and everyone else is like oh yeah like, they're writing the stuff no one knows it because like uh, they have technology to make everyone fall asleep they have technology to like you know wipe everyone's memories like you know we have movies like Men in Black. Oh, they click a point and everyone like goes blank and you tell them a story and they believe that stuff. It's a great self-disclosure. So with that being said, this 15-year-old uh, person is just sitting in the class. He's abducted. He lives for 20 years in the space program doing tons of stuff. He comes back, but he comes back with a bag of knowledge. Not that he remembers much of the experience that he was in, but he knows about math, geography, and all those like physics skills and all the science and stuff. And he's called up to the, you know, the chalkboard to, to write down. And he knows everything. He knows all the answers and he starts teaching the teacher. And it's amazing how much it happens and how little probably talked about. Like, you know, it's it's uh, probably like uh, has some great, mm, I don't know, shadow banning or stuff. It's like, I'm pretty sure like Google and YouTube can probably, you know, just block it and make sure that people are not seeing this sort of stuff. But uh, there are plenty of cases where, you know, people are abducted and you talk about their case. For you, you know, you're the viewer and you, you can like only... Uh, we don't know the truth. We can only like, okay, do you want to believe the person or not? Are they genuine or not? And you yourself are the one to decide if, if you believe the story. For me, uh, it's always like, you know, when I give these sessions, I guess over the top sometimes, I'm like, you know, are they messing with me or, or are they, is it really happening? So it's not that it happens a lot, but some cases can go hardcore. And for me, I tend to believe, I want to believe the XL thing or whatever, but like I can be like, naive as hell, but I want to believe in that sort of stuff. And I'm here to help uh, as, 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 as much as possible. So with that being said, one of the stories I wanted to share is like, you know, uh, there's this person who gets abducted by the year of, uh, I think it was four-year-old. And as a four-year-old, he, he still doesn't have enough communication skills and stuff. So he's abducted by the people, like literally like people who are in space and have their own program, but they abduct the person because, you know, oh, okay, like, it seems like a good, good vessel, but, you know, like, we have a story about this team, what it fought, but then again, you go deeper into the whole core, and Pleiadians were to set up this whole being, like, okay, Pleiadians make a deal with the soul, the soul's gonna come into the body and have a, a thing, and Pleiad Pleiadians will guide this sort of person into, okay, you're gonna be a healer, you'll have this, we're gonna make sure you have great abilities, and they make a great family. They're gonna help this out, this being out in this in, on Earth. And here it is. Here comes the humans who are playing on, on the bigger game that we don't know about. And the the person who was set up by Pleiadians is now abducted by other people, another group. And here it is. Basically, he spends a few years uh, learning all the languages. And here, like, 
how do I know this? Like, I just get out of body and I watch. It's like a movie. I get out of body and I just basically watch and experience the 20 years with that person of everything that happens, like key points and stuff. But I'm here, like, watching movies. It's all happening right in front of me. And, you know, fast forward, just like, okay, yeah, I got, got it. Like, turn off and I talk to the person what I saw. So, basically, a four-year-old kid is sitting in front of this sort of huge monitor and they have all the languages of the world running like all the languages like you know english russian like arabic and like all like tons of it and not just that not just like earth languages but they have languages of uh, pleiadian of lyrian of uh, you know lurian and like all of these languages like even the alien like sort of uh, reptilian stuff and so they're like running and the kid is sitting in front of the screen and the kid is not alone it's not just like one kid in the room they have tons of them hundreds and uh, not just humans, of course, but, you know, they have hundreds of beings over there sitting, staring at that uh, screen with lots of languages running and they're being taught to, like, sort of memorize it and know it all, like, you know, the meaning and they're sort of, it's, um, I don't know how to call it, like, one of my worries or, like, hardships is that my English skill, uh, skills are not the best, so I don't have enough vocabulary to describe of the experience I want to explain or, or share, but anyway, Hundreds of kids, you know, all from different races, are sitting in front of the screen and watching tons of languages, and they have the letters, the explanation, definition, and it's just like it's just like popping through. It's like a, if you heard of this sort of um, photographic memory, you have a skill to take a book, put it upside down, and read it backwards. And basically, you are uh, flipping the pages like really fast but you're able to memorize and recall everything that was in the page as if you have the photo right in front of you and you can read it again or you just have the knowledge of what was in that page and so these kids are being taught exactly like that and they spend a few years learning the languages the next thing you know it's like uh, you know some some people like uh, have sort of uh, telepathic telekinetic abilities they can move things like you know okay uh, they're learning how to control the elements it's, it's not just the avatar like a uh, cartoon that you have where you, the person controls four elements but more like okay have the creation and destruction they put you in the sort of um, room it's very similar like a dome and then we can put something uh, that you could relate to maybe like x mm, X-Men movie where they have sort of a room where they can simulate a reality. It's very similar in that way where in a spaceship there's a room where you step in it and they similar like simulate the surroundings and then reality of what you see like the holographic images except that they're so real that if someone in the holographic world touches you you feel the impact. So in that world every person uh, learns how to control all the elements, how to lift up the rocks, how to like you know melt like use the metal and different things and like you know you have the magnetic abilities and like oh cool like a whole x-men x-men X, X, X movie stuff you know like all these talents and things that you can have like quirks and stuff awesome but now the kid is being taught by the group and they have certain people like you know okay we have certain people they're gonna watch after this kid we're gonna we have some some reptilians and grays they're gonna watch after these kids and basically everyone has sort of sort of chopran or like however you say that basically a person or a being who's gonna watch after you and teach you and be your guide in that sort of place but they're telling you one story they're telling you of, like what you're gonna do and you know, you're a great being and we're this and that and as a person who's growing there from a very young age he does not have the understanding, like, oh, I'm with aliens. No, it's a family. Oh, like, I'm with a group of people. They, like, we care about each other. Like, this is a group. There, there's no thing like you've been abducted. No one tells you that. And you believe that it's your own world, it's your own reality. And usually kids that are abducted at a very young age, they do not know about that stuff. Uh, they're just, like, sort of start accepting their reality. And whoever else in that sort of place will tell them of what the story is about this place, they will believe that. So they spend 20 years believing that they're doing the right thing few years of learning the languages, few years of learning how to control the elements and the whole, like, uh, the reason to abduct humans is that humans have the ability to create. We are amazing race that, like, you know, we, we imagine, we think of things, and we can create it and manifest it really easily. So if you put a person, like, you know, you, me, or someone else, like a human being, into that holographic room, where they're teaching you to create, like, sort of control the elements and create and stuff, you're like, they give you a command, like, create a house, create a car, create this. But now that you have everything created, they make it more difficult. They give you tons of parts, like, you know, little, like, uh, screws and, like, you know, little, little parts of metals and, like, different things. And they sort of sit you down in a position where you, it's not that you cannot move. It's a command to not move. So you can sit in that meditative position and stuff, but the mission is, 
as you sit, you have to control every single part. Pick it up, like, you know, I have my glasses here. So basically, you're sitting in, in the room with, like, t a pile of t stuff, and you have to build a car with your thoughts, moving every single detail, and adding a part with part to build something. And, you know, you have a screw, you have glasses, you have different things, and you're, you're sitting there doing nothing, but focusing on every single part, putting it, like, you know, picking it up, moving it here, and putting it together, and as you sit, you construct a car from all these sorts of tons of parts. You construct the, a, a car, a computer, or different things, and tons of devices. And now that you have the ability to control the smallest things, they get you into the place where you can, you can move the mountains, you can move um, huge stones and stuff, and, you know, makes it makes us think, like, you know, oh, we have st Stonehenge, and the, by the history, they had sort of huge rocks, and they were pulling it, and, like, got it in one place. Yeah, cool. They also have people who can, like, okay, here's this huge mountain. Pick it up and put it there. Okay, like, uh, in the other side of the planet, in the other side of the realm, do it. And it's easy for them. It's like, oh, yeah, I've been practicing, I can do this, yeah. And for them, it's challenging, and it's a mission, but also it's really engaging. It's like, a, it's like a game and stuff. And for them, there is no right or wrong, or it's like, uh, no one tells them just like, you know, oh, I'm serving the dark side, cool. <laughs> no. They're just like, this is their family, they're doing stuff, and this is their life. Oh, my life is too, like, okay, I have to create this. And so, with all that, basically people who are in this room, sort of, uh, re like, working on uh, their abilities to lift stuff and, like, move things, this is how they find, like, you know, who's able to do this sort of work or not, which is why, like, okay, yeah, we have sort of, a group of, like, a group of people who can do the work we want them to do, they can stay, people who are failing miserably, nah, -uh, kick, kick them out, they're useless, and so they return back on Earth or uh, other, other places where they were, uh, where they have been abducted from, and so, with all that, we have beings that now have the ability to not just move everything and they're like very talented, they have ability in knowing every single detail, they know that they can do it. And so now reptilians, they're gonna go onto this planet that they're gonna sort of conquer and just like take over. And who's gonna be your fighter? Is the one that they've been training. Okay, you can create stuff. Uh, we don't want to use our resources, we don't want to use our spaceships and stuff. So you go there and do your work and basically they literally put humans out there so that they could use their creativity to literally take out things, to, to, to create spaceships, to create different things. Because like reptilians and greys, they can't create stuff. They can build stuff, they can make stuff, but they're not, they, they, they don't create, they cannot imagine. So while they need resources, we as humans are the asses that can like, oh, gold, yeah, sure, pile of gold, here it is, boom, I'll write, write in the room, it's there. So they can use humans and, and basically, you know, use us in any way they want. And the hard thing about it is that, like, there are groups of people out there, like, you know, we have reptilians, we have greys, we have other beings telling us, like, uh, in, the, in the space, what to do and all this stuff. And at the, same, at the same time, people can get abducted by a group of people, humans, and they're, like, they're making deals with reptilians, with Arcturians and other guys. Arcturians are kind of good guys, but it's been quite a few cases where I saw them, like, making deals with uh, reptilians and, like, okay, yeah, we're gonna make a deal, like, you know, do, do your stuff. And they are playing the sort of neutral base and they can talk to people and, like, you know, make it all fun. But they're also de having some deals with uh, reptilians, so, like, it's a 50-50 thing for me, but, like, you no, know, I cannot, like, bl blame any kind of group. So, that being said, you know, I, I see all these like, sort of um, ways how we're being used as, uh, like, you know, as a resource, as a, like an asset. For us, like, you know, yeah, we live for like a, a hundred years, we're lucky on Earth, cool. But at the same time, we can get abducted, we can we can get messed with in lots of ways. And while here, while people or parents or society will think that we're crazy, if we, if we talk about like telekinesis, le levitation, stuff like that, like, oh, you're crazy, you're just like making shit up, like, don't do that. And out there in the multiverse, they know that these abilities are awesome and they use it and it's very powerful. And like they they appreciate it, but over here on Earth, like ah, you're stupid, you're you're like you're just you're, you're crazy. Don't do that. And so, while people blame the sort of thing out there in the multiverse, like reptilians are really into the sort of stuff, which is why they use people and abduct us more often because we can help them out. And as we get abducted, sometimes people without knowledge or awareness, they don't know about this group of well, like of beings like reptilians and greys that are gonna take over the planet or their different things. They think they're doing the right thing. You're you're working for your family. You're helping your family. They look weird, but I'm helping them. They they praise me. They they, they tell me like I did a good great work. And you just like took over five planets and killed off tons of beings. And it's all for survival and happy helping your family. 
people who are abducted, they don't really realize that unless they're aware of that sort of stuff. So, you know, a lot of people that I've been working with, I see them as like being abducted and just like used and sort of as resources and there's nothing good that they gain. Like they get used for, for like lots of years and they, they're thrown back into the body with all the memories deleted and now they're like really messed up. They're like, they come back and I'm like, oh, I, I feel weird. Like I'm, I don't belong here. And you know, we have tons, tons of things like, you know, feeling like an alien and, and tons of traits how we're like, you, you feel like you've been abducted and stuff. So uh, for me, like it's, it's an amazing subject. I don't know much about it myself except from my experience of getting out of body and like talking to people and working for them like recalling their past life experiences at that place and telling what happened like you know what this would happen and then since they've been visiting other people who've been helping them to recall the experience they can pretty much confirm that oh yeah i've heard like other person say a very similar thing but you've told it in more detail and i'm like whoa like awesome i i didn't know i could do that <laughs> wow so you know here's my story for the day like it's it's, it's pretty amazing because this whole game goes on a, on a massive scale. We think like, oh, Earth, Earth, Earth is messed up. We are being like, used as a cat or they're using our illusion stuff. But that's just a small game. Like it's, it's still on a very like, small plane. Like we're using, a, like we're looking at the aquarium or like uh, ant farmer and we're thinking like, oh, we're big. And people like beings who are out there, it's, like take Earth like, oh, little thing, like cute. They're like looking at us as an ant farm as well. It's like this is a human farm. So. I just wanted to share my thoughts on this whole thing, or maybe like uh, share the sort of story I had. There's plenty of stories of what happens to people when they get abducted. Um, I'm not sure, like, I cannot say, like, uh, I've probably been abducted as well too, in this physical body, I don't know. The, the only thing that this sort of wears me out is for like, for a few weeks, um, I've had uh, like, uh, weird marks on my hands, and they just like, appeared out of nowhere, uh, like it had a sort of shape of uh, an octagon or something, like this little, like, dots. Like I had on my arm, under my breast and stuff, and like, you know, just like, appeared out of nowhere uh, during my sleep. Like, I had no way of getting that sort of thing, because like, back in the day I wasn't wearing off my necklace and stuff. And, you know, how can you get this sort of, like, weird kind of looking, uh, <laughs> I don't know, like, you how to even call it? It's not even a scar, so it was just like, those, like, kind of like bumps, but those bumps, um, or like little holes, like, I'm not sure if I can, I can even maybe draw it, <laughs> let's see. Uh, Fast one, let's, let's, uh, yeah, let's see if that works, um, kind of like that, <laughs> but like, you know, so I have sort of little bumps on my hand, and, and basically it's on my hand, on my breast and stuff, and was there for a few weeks, and was gone. How did I got it? I have no idea. How it disappeared? I have no idea, but during that time, my life got really weird. And things got kind of like really messed up in my life. Like, you know, my my memories, my abilities to get a body or even recall for those two weeks, I was like really weird. And I haven't really personally gone and like, oh, I'm going to recall my past life and like look into what happened. I don't know why I haven't done that yet, but that's something to do, I guess. But like, I don't know if I was abducted or what happened. Like I can like, oh, I had the weird looks like weird looking thing on my arm and disappeared. I don't know. <laughs> So, again, like, I'm just, like, sharing story and, like, talking it up, because, like, I want to get in the place where I can make more videos, and my main target, like, targeting thing is I want to bring something of value to you, something that will make your life better in any kind of way, and if I'm just here and talking about, like, oh, yeah, I just got to talk it out and you listen to me, thank you, but my point is, like, to, to give you something of value, and, like, if I feel like I cannot do that, I don't want to make videos, and it's a thing I'm working on, like, I, I want to get back on YouTube and make daily videos, or, like, at least more often, it's a thing, so, anyway, um, hope, hopefully you found something interesting, or sort of something like, the, you know, like, oh, look, this interesting sort of story, or whatever, uh, but, you know, I'm sharing experience that I saw with my, with getting out of body, just, like, one out of many, but if you're interested in more, please let me know if you have your experiences with that sort of thing, if you've been abducted, if you've heard of other people who've been abducted, share those stories because, like, I think we need to talk about it more. It's like, because some people call, might might call us crazy, some people might think like, hey, I know the stuff, I've, I've been there. And I don't know, I think it's good to talk, to talk about sort of things. So, anyway, thank you for watching, I'll see you next time, and, you know, have a good day. Bye.